he is going to be dropped. Ah, my teeth are so cold. Yasi is going to get first blood. Uh, he didn't tell Thuzzard's going to be able to pick up the return kill on Pudge, though. Mm. I know I haven't looked up at top yet, but this is an interesting uh, situation. They switched, actually. Seal went to top. He doesn't want to deal with the jug. I think that our Q's landing stage is probably Every better. And and they've come to admit that on next gen, and that's why they're rotating out and saying, hey, I'd rather play against Nyx if I was an Ember rather than going up against the Jug. Jug is going to fall down, you know, I mean, Pudge and the, the Disruptor are still a really strong duo. It looks like Darkseer, where is Darkseer? Am I blind? There's Darkseer. Darkseer is farming jungle and putting pressure on Jug, and I just got to see it. The, the, um, uh, the Blade Fury, so... The ABB is pretty low. They are picking him out. So far, so good. He's going to sit behind different heaven. Heaven is having a d difficult top time in lane. I mean, he's, he can't farm as well as you want as a TA. Uh, he was being a little under aggressive there. He probably could have killed the Abbey. We're going to see the glimpse come out and the salve. He is going to probably die, is my guess, even if he pops off the illusions. Uh, he's going to be able to make it to Roche. Not in time. TA hits him a fraction of a second before Roche can, can swipe him to him. So now Alk has a free lane, and we'll see where that takes him at the farm. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, Abby once again is rotating to the jungle to find his farm. He he really just can't get those last hits. You know, he's at 18 at 5. It's not what you want. Seal here is going to fall down. Tower is under attack. Uh, or sorry, Seal's going to get the kill on Zephyr. Looks like Radiant's he probably used his searing chains, and, and Wind Ranger just can't run out of those uh, chains in time. They are going to go ahead and rotate to the the rune spot Pudge is gonna get the hook onto onto Eden Eden's gonna fall down the TA also drops down I don't know if TA was looks Radiant's like TA was no TA was attack. mid and she dropped to the, the I think that's why TA is a great hero because she snowballs so well when she gets a blink at a at a Dezo. So I think this game is going to depend on how TA plays if she's gonna be able to get a kill streak. I could see next gen taking this game. Darks here is gonna fall down. Now, I'm really sorry, guys. I know I'm like missing these deaths. Alchemist gets his double stack, which will help him get maybe an eight minute, eight minute uh, armlet. We'll see if he has the same situation happen with him, like next gen did, or they get a twenty minute radiance. Hopefully not. Yeah, see here, he's going to be able to dodge a stuff from Koala, he'll pop his self and stay alive. Kalthaz is going to rotate onto that BB, he doesn't have the mana, he could pop the, the mango, but I don't know, this is scary. He is going to pop Omni Slash to stay alive and then he's going to use Blade Fury, it's going to be a triple kill! A triple kill for Kalthazard as he goes in with the Blade Fury combo. Top, we're seeing Zephyr, he's going to get pressured by Ruptor, that BB, he does get off his... Wind run, not gonna be able to kill him. Uh, it's just not gonna work out. Glimpse was on cooldown as they already used it. Cal is going for the the early dominator, 920 and the phase. Not bad timing with the Aquila. He's got the highest last hits, right? Highest net worth is my guess. Sorry, right, never mind. There's <laughs> there's an Alex. So he's 500, but he's he's following. Zephyr is gonna turn around. You know, I was like, wow. Okay, you thought Zephyr went back to base? Nope. They're gonna, they're gonna see maybe if they can find the elk or you know, stop his this radiance farming. Uh, Eden's gonna be there, but Eden doesn't really have the mana to do anything. He doesn't have the high ground vision. They're gonna go in on Eden. There is no shrine. He's gonna fall down. He just tried healing himself, disarming himself. They're also gonna get the wind run. Uh, wind Ranger. They don't get off the glimpse though. He sends him all the way back to base. That kind of sucks. 
Uh, they don't get the kill. Right. I mean, he is an Ember, but still, he's bottom four net worth. Zephyr, who's playing position four, is ahead of their position one, and that is just something you don't want. This is one of those things with that early Ember Spear pick, sure. Maybe you didn't get countered, right? Uh, and I guess Snix is a pretty good counter, which doesn't really doesn't make sense why you'd pick Ember second pick since Snix counters you, but it is what it is, but now you're not getting farm in lane, and that's the problem. T is going to get spotted out. She does try using Mel to escape. She doesn't have Blink or anything, so she would have just been stuck there. So she Nyx, right? Or he, he free farms lane. I'm not sure if you got a kill on Nyx. I'm pretty sure. Now, granted, that was Radiant's definitely a better draft uh, stage for RRQ, but here we have this situation, and next gen is just doing too many rotations. Seal rotates once more back top, and he's going to fall down to Koala and Eden. Eden's going to get the last hit. And of course, yes, we we do have Jug there, but Jug doesn't use Omni Slash or Blade Fear. I think he, he might have used stun. Doesn't look. Wow, what a pickup. Yasha, this is gonna be an interesting game. That's either gonna lose them the lose some of the this game or win them. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a it's a crazy pick. We're gonna see Carapace come out, it's gonna stun Disruptor. We do have Oracle Ultimate, it's gonna save Koala. Uh, he Regeneration. does have a TP if he wants to leave, but he's gonna get healed in time. Different heavens gonna get held down. Pudge is gonna get the hook on Oracle. Koala is using the vendetta, he's gonna hit Yasi. We're not seeing any TPs coming out just yet. Koala's gonna run away. Looks like they're gonna keep chasing past the tier one. They're gonna use kinetic field, but Yasi's gonna TP away. Zephyr coming in with a power shot, level four. Koala is gonna die to dead BB though. Different heavens gonna run out of the situation now that he got the kills and I feel like you need to be comfortable with it before you start doing it. So just cause you see yeah, Templar Assassin picking up a Yasha before a blinker does so don't necessarily think it's the right thing uh, for you to do, but we'll see. What happens? Pudge is gonna get the hook on Oracle, and as I said it guys, this Pudge is going to be uh, what's gonna make or break this game. And he is landing all of these hooks in the world, but Cal Buzzer is gonna come in and he's gonna get connecting Omni Slash on both the Pudge and the, uh, the Disruptor. He's gonna get pressured by different heaven, but we don't have a blink. All we have is a Yasha from Cal Buzzer. He can run to Shrine, he can do whatever he wants really. He's going to miss the stun, Alex coming in, he's also going to miss the stun because he's relying on Koala. That's a uh, team misplay, but hey, yeah, that, that's alright if you stay alive, I guess. Koala does have Carapace, he could get hooked again. I don't think Pudge is in the area. Pudge is going to land the hook on a work, he's going to go to He does use his ultimate, so maybe he's going to be able to TP out in time. He's going to kill himself. He's he's stalling, at least, right? He is going to fall down. We do see Windranger going for the early veil. She's going to get the blink as well. She's climbing up on net worth. I mean, she's right up there with her Ember, and Ember's the safe lane. So, she's doing her job. Kel going for his, uh, he's going for the, the Manta, he's pretty close to getting it. I think this game is in any way's way, in anyone's uh, way, that we do have that 10k net worth disparity, but again, you're dealing with an Alchemist, so maybe cut that down by like 3,000, and you're looking at 7k net worth in the way of RRQ. This being said, they are going to get that early Eidos, Ember does fall down to Yabby, I don't think Eidos is what helped him. Uh, yeah, Eidos isn't even up on next Assassin, he's really close to getting it. Pudge is going to get another hook. Cal Thuzzard's falling down. He's oh, the creep, the ancient creep blocks him. Uh, I think he would have died either way. But uh, Templar is gonna fall down to Zephyr. So did you get that dominating kill streak on on TA, which gives her Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Get over it. I am back. Okay, I did miss something. I knew it. The second I go away, something happens. Like the SpongeBob episode of the bus. Uh, Nyx is gonna fall down. As who was? Who did he fall down to? He does fall down to Yasi. Again, Yasi's hooks are just landing it. He is gonna fall down. All right, he played really greedy. He's staying there. He's gonna fall down to Zephyr, and Zephyr's net worth is shooting upward. She's passing Ember once more. She's catching th that RRQ have that are potential threats to next gen losing this game. 
Jug is gonna get picked off once more. This is just not his game. Eden doesn't even bother using ultimate. She's gonna sit. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Jug is gonna kill Darks here. We're gonna see him pale come for a koala. I'm colorblind, guys. I totally missed uh, what happened there. So Jug does get the kill on Koala and Pale. Blade Fury is gonna finish him off. Disruptor and Seal, though, they are able to kill the Wind Ranger. Barely uh, live it, like having enough mana to go back into like a Radiant Jungle Creep supposed to be on Radiant side or Dire side. That's, that's a good question. They are gonna find TA. She doesn't have any more refraction charges for four seconds. Shackle Shot comes out, and it looks like Koala and uh, Kelp Buzzard are gonna go in to finish the kill. Koala is gonna get the last hit. It looks like Impale uh, does the damage later. So. Again, TA is getting really pressured. Eight, uh, 9k net worth. You have Jug uh, at 10k. So Jug speeding his counterpart by 3k. You can't really look at Jug to TA. But but definitely Alk is having a good, a good time. Right? I mean, he has Radiance, Manta, Armlet. He's on his way to an Octarine. He could push whatever lane he wants as much as he wants. And he'll be fine. He's going to pop the stun and TP in right away. It's a little weird, a crazy stun. He's not going to land it in time. There's no one to connect it onto. Uh, Darks here is going to fall in a couple of fights, especially when you have this Wind Ranger who has a blink and a veil. We are going to come back. Oh, hey, never mind. Pudge is going to get picked off by Zephyr. Looks like they're happy with that on Dire's side. They're going to back. In the meantime, I'm going to go check my pizza. They're going to go on different heaven. I'll, I'll stay for this one just in case. Who, who knows? Koala looks like he's going to be able to escape anyway. TA is going to get stunned. Refraction charges are going to come off and she's going to fall down for blind 2 greedy. It's just non-stop action, guys. Koala's going to get spotted out. He does have 8 O's and 8 seconds on Vendetta. Looks like he's going to play save, but they're going to get Oracle here. Uh, just the action never stops coming here on, on Radiant side. Jug is there. I mean, Eden is getting healed. That's a beauty. You know, Rude comes out on Amber. He is stunned. And he is going to fall down to the Oracle. Jug is going to use his ultimate. It's not going to connect on what he wants. But he's still going to be able to get the kill on KL7. Buyback comes out from Amber. RQ's uh, Eden's going to fall down. It's going to fall down. Cal Thuzzard's going to fall down. But again, Seal did buy back. So is it worth it? Is the question. So we see Wind Ranger coming out. Maybe they're going to be able to pick off something. They just can't kill Yabi right now. He's going to come in. He's going to stun off the Amber. We're going to see him Mantis style trying to get out of the. the uh, glimpse, it's not going to connect. Wind Ranger tries to do something, but she takes a lot of damage from TA. Two hits, but Disruptor's going to fall down to Yabby's yeah, pop off stun. He's going to run away, though. He's not going to be able to connect. Mind if we salvage him for fluids, do you? What the? I watch my head. No. <laughs> we'll take that. And uh, disruptor ulti. We're gonna see different heaven get scattered out by koala. They're all telling him to rotate in. Different heaven. He's gonna get hit and stunned and rooted by Koala. TA is gonna, uh, Dust comes out just in case TA does pop that invis. She does, and she's gonna fall down. She does get re refractions off, but yeah, but he's gonna get the kill either way. In the meantime, Eden is gonna fall down. He's playing a little gr uh, greedy, trying to get some wards going around with Cal Thuzzard, but in comes the power shot and. The oh, Yule stops TP off of Zephyr. They're gonna kill, kill Disruptor, and Jug is gonna go on to uh, Yasi. He's gonna fall down. This is looking really grim. They still have a buyback uh, if necessary on TA, but they still also have Aegis. I think, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Jug has the Aegis, so. They are going to go in, they're going to see if they can take the tier 3, they don't have creeps just yet, they're coming in, we have Maelstrom on, on the Amber, it's just, it's not going to be enough, I don't think, to handle this poor Shiabi, 4 seconds, he has what he needs, Amber is going to get stunned, and stunned, and stunned, and rooted, he's going to fall down, he doesn't have buyback, he's down for 60 seconds, Dappy yeah, pops off his ultimate, but he is also... I'm going to fall down in the midst of things, no one has buyback, Jug's out for 50 seconds, the... 
So if you're just gonna let Megas come through, you know? But yeah, that is GG then. Uh, not sure what, what NGD is planning to do. Uh, we're gonna see Hook and whatnot. I'm just gonna sit here and eat pizza and let the rest of the uh, battle come out while they uh, grab Megas. Radiance top barracks are under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance oh. top barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower, Radiance top barracks has fallen. The Dyer now have mega creeps. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. NGV finally decides to get his desert and buys a TP. Uh, yeah, but his whole team drops in fountain in the meantime. They're just having fun right now. Uh, good game is called out, and that is game two to RRQ versus Energy Feed. You thought me gone, did you not? Dire victory!